Yo, what's up, family? Yo, this one here, I'm going to title this video here for you guys. Psst. Job reference. That's simple. Job reference. Think about it. Before you allow somebody to put you down as a reference to get that job, think about who you are allowing to use your name as credibility. Are they a credible person? Or are they an irresponsible person which is going to make a bad reflection on you? That's why I said job reference. Think about it first. Because like most videos we do, this should be a positive one, although it still is because it's going to be informative. But like I said, think about who you are allowed because what, what a lot of times we don't, we want to be nice, kind hearted people and want to uplift and help others. But you got to remember when people want to use you as a job reference, a lot of times it's based on the envy that they have against you. Because see, this is what it is. They're looking at your life, your possessions, your lifestyle. Not taking in consideration, you had to, as Drake said, had to start from the bottom up to the top. You had to start at the bottom. There was a time you made very close, very little money. And who knows, the, the blood, sweat, and tears, the, the two buses, the train, or the long hours forced overtime. They don't let, take none of that in consideration. What do people do? They look at your lifestyle and your possessions, and they go, I want what she got. I want what he got. I want to get hired at your job. Hey, man, yo, man, your job hiring? Yo, could you put me there? Can I use you as a reference? I'm going to go put an application. Can I use you as a reference? Like I said, job reference. Think about it. This person is asking that. The only, you think they want to put, you think they want to come to your job and use you as a reference if the job was paying mediocre pay? It was a garbage job? No. They looking at your lifestyle and your possessions, and that's why they want to work at that job. They want your lifestyle. I um look at it this way. Watch this. I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give. You, I'm gonna give you a couple of scenarios. For example, I remember way back in the days where I, I used to actually I used to do little legal things here and there, hustle money. One of them, believe it or not, is legal, but you're not legal in the sense that you would think. I used to take CDL tests for people because it, it was cake to me. This back before 9/11, where you used to be after you had your license for, I think, over two years, you, you used to could go to motor vehicles and you could get what's called a non-photo license. Yeah. And I used to do that for people. I used to take CDL tests for people. I would use their non-photo license, their social and all that. But that's a whole other story. But anyway, I remember on this one particular day, this guy, obviously, he got my name through the grapevine. Like, yo, man, I heard you take CDL tests for people. So I said, yeah. Dude had the money up front, paid me up front. He said, yeah, man, because I want to go down and get a job. Remember I told you, envy. What does the word envy? And as always, you know I love to give you a word of the day. That's going to be the word of the day. That's simple, easy, four-letter word. E-N-V-Y, envy. What does the word envy mean? It's a form of jealousy. It also is, if you look up the etymology of the word, it means and a form of, when a person has some form of aroused expectation or limitations, on another person's possessions or their lifestyle. That's envy. Isn't that a form of jealousy? They looking at you like, hmm, man, man, look what that person got, man. I'm, I'm supposed to be like that. Man, I'm supposed to have that. Man, how you get that? Man, I'm going to get what that joker got. See what I'm saying? But let's get to the story. Anyway, the guy paid me to take the test for him. I took the test for him because he said, yo, I want to come down to your job, man. You like, you doing good, man. I want to come down to your job. Work there, man. Yo, y'all make good money. I said, yeah, man, you know, they start off with this. After six months, you get these raises. You get this raise. And after two years, you get this raise. After, um, what was it, three to five years, something like that. Some, you get this major, major big raise. It's then like an $8 raise. It was crazy. But anyway, oh, man, yeah, I want to come down here. Good job, man. I want to work there, man. Y'all get, get raises like that. So I, I gave him all the ins and outs. Now, think about it. I'm already taking a written test for him. He's very envious. You, you want what I, my lifestyle. I'm already taking a written test. And then I said, oh, so, yo, you, you plan on coming out of my job? He said, yeah, man. Yo, is it right? I could use you as a reference, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to throw you a little extra money for taking this test, man. You knocked this out, man. You wasn't lying, man. You knocked that out quick, man, because they waited for me while I took it. I said, yeah, my job hiring. And I said, to be honest with you, man, I don't, I ain't too keen on letting people use my name as a reference unless you, you, you're a stand-up person, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're a stand-up person, man, you ain't about no nonsense, I don't mind. I want to help lift other people up. He said, nah, man, I got a clean record. He said, man, I ain't got no points on my license. You know what I'm saying, man? I ain't got no criminal record. Nah. I said, oh, okay, that all sounds good. I, 
So I said, but look, let me tell you something about my job. I said, now, although I'm taking the CDL test for you, now you're going to go get the road test or whatever. That's on you. I said, listen, when you come to my job, I know this is going to sound crazy. This is at the time. I said, this is how my job operates. They're going to send you to a, a drug test and all that. I said, but once they've seen the drug test, you pretty much got the job. But here's the, the, the extra catch. When you come back to the job, there's a drug test. They're going to sit you in the cafeteria and they're going to give you a CDL book with all the questions and the answers. It's not long. It's about 60 they're going to give you. They're not going to give you like the motor vehicle. They're going to give you about 60. I said, they're they going to they, gonna, they gonna expect you to answer all those uh, questions. But they're going to give you the answers, my man. He said, all right, man, I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried. I said, no, 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 my man. Listen, this is what I'm telling you. Like I said, I don't mind you put my name down, but what I would highly advise you is go through that book because I'm already taking the test for you. Still go through that book because when you get hired at the job, they're going to make you take the test at the job. He said, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Make a long story short. Dude went to the job, took the drug test, this and that, called me up and said, yo, man, I just left, took the drug test. He said, yeah, they told me I got to come back and take that test. What's up with that? See, don't you hate it when you're talking to somebody and they ain't listening? It's in one ear, out the other. It's like, yo, my man, I told you all this. What you mean? So he said, next thing you know, he goes back. I get a call two hours later from the from supervisor. Supervisor called and tells me, he said, yo, uh, Spinks, hey, man, that guy that you put down in Griffith, he just left. I said, what you mean he left? What, did y'all send him on a route? He said, no, he just left. He said, we sent him for the road uh, drug test. He took that. That was fine. He said, uh, but then he came back and uh, was taking the, the written test in the cafeteria. He just, After about 45 minutes, he just got up and left. Mm. I said, what? So then he called me. You know what he called me and told me? He said, yo, man, yo, your job be bugging, man. I said, what you mean? He said, yo, man, they told me I had to take the CDL test again. When I already told him I already got the CDL license, why are they going to make me take I said, yo, but my man, I told you all of this. You had the job. You just got any key to answers. But you see, like I said, let's title the video, Job Reference. Be careful who you put down because you know how that make me look now? What if this guy over here or this woman over here, they really do want the job. They really are hard workers. And now they want to use me as a reference. The last guy discredited me. You get what I'm saying? Supervisor, see, when you're a good worker, sometimes you are in the status on a level to where when someone uses you as a reference, when the, when the job the job may have the job may have a, bunch, a whole stack of applications. But when they see your name on, on the reference, they, they go like this. Doo -doo, yeah, I got a whole bunch of applications. Oh, oh, we got John Blow here. Hey, oh, well, let, let's go with my last name. Speak. They go, oh, we got, oh, you use Sphinx as a reference. You know what they really do? I'm going to put yours on the top because you use Sphinx as a reference. Hey, Sphinx, we got a call. I mean, hey, Sphinx, hey, we got somebody down using as a reference. You, just, just, you know this? About this? Oh, yeah, yeah. See, they put your name on the top. That happens a lot. But now, why would you screw that up? But people do it all the time. I even had a friend of mine, he's one of the few that I, I, I let get away with this, but it did bother me. This dude, every job that I got, he would show up at that job. Don't call me, don't tell me, don't ask me nothing, but will put me down as a reference. And I'm at the job working, next thing I get a call in the office, and they, they say, hey, man, we just called you back here because we got a blah, 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 that put you down as a reference. Do you know this guy? And I'm sitting there like, this guy ain't even asked me or nothing. Just put me down as a reference. Now, I remember the first time he did that, after I said that to the management, he, I said, yo, this guy put me down. He ain't even asked me. Right away, I remember how this went down. The guy said, hey, look, I'm going to do this just like this. He said, man, you, man, me and you, we're really cool. He said, look, because we used to be at the bank together, me and the, the management. We used to lunch together and everything. I was real cool with this dude, me and my other dude, Gerard. You remember Gerard? Yo, the management honestly said to me, he said, look, Sphinx, so the guy put you down and you don't even know nothing about it. He said, well, let's put it, let's do it like this. I'm going to put the ball in your court. You tell me what you want to do. He said, I'll throw this application in the garbage right now. Or we can put it through and I can assure you, as long as he don't got no criminal record and points of life, we'll get him hired. He said, it's on you. You want me to hire him or throw it in the garbage? I put it on you. 100%. You know what I did? I said, nah, you can put it through. He, he like fans. He just said, man, it just kills me how people take your kindness for weakness. And it's the same dude. He did it again at another job. And both times when I just talked to him about it, you know what he did? He denied it. No, man, I did tell you about that, man. I was like, they'll just sit there and tell you, talk to you like you stupid. You know what I'm saying? 
But but a lot of y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about, job reference. Be careful who you allow to put you down as a reference because sometimes you discredit your name. Like I said, I'll give you a couple of stories. I'll give you another. There was this dude at the job and Chris way back in the day. Real good dude. Real good dude. Been there for a while. He got to know a lot of us. Next, you know, Chris, he put his brother down as a reference. And he know his brother was a screw up. Sure enough, his brother started coming to work late, no show, screwing up on the route, messing up equipment, crashed the vehicle, all kind of nonsense. And every time he's messing up, know what they would do? They would go to his brother, Chris. Hey, Chris, man. Hey, your brother just crashed the vehicle. Next day, hey, Chris, your brother didn't show up to work today. Next day, hey, Chris, your brother didn't came to work three days this, late this week. And eventually, one day, Chris snapped on the supervisor. He said, yo, man, why y'all keep telling me this stuff, man? He's a screw up. Just fire him, man. I'm tired of y'all coming to me all the time, man. I got my own problems I'm dealing with. And you keep telling me with this crap. Tell me about where he's going. Just fire his butt. You could tell what's getting up under his skin. And then when he talked to me about it, he said, man, that was the biggest mistake I made. Get my brother hired. Man, I was trying to help this little joke, but he just always screwing up. This man don't need that stress at the job. That's a whole lot more to that story, but I just thought I'd give you that little bit. I'll give you one more story. Remember, title of the video, job reference. Think about it. Think about who you are allowing to put down, as put your name down as a reference. Will they be somebody credible or non-credible? Responsible, irresponsible. How about you, man? Remember where we used to live? The girl down the street, right on our block. Remember, she was whining and stuff all day, all the time we seen her. We go to the grocery store, we take a walk around the neighborhood like we normally do. She was always telling you how she's trying to find a job and it's hard for me to get a job. Man, I can't find nobody that's hiring. Oh man, I really need some extra money. Man, things are real tough. The bills are getting down. Man, I need some help. And what did you do? Oh yeah, by me helping her, just hearing her sad stories, but not realizing that right, the more she was talking, it's like, the more she was out there putting flags. I was actually seeing that, then you already had three jobs and you have no job. She quit all so three jobs. So that kind of but me as a good-hearted person. I said, okay, well, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to try to get you But see, I like that job. first part you said. There was flag. There was red flags that told you yes. don't help her. Yes. Three different jobs. And one of them was around the corner at the hotel where we live. Yes. And they just opened up, quit the job. And it's walking distance from her house. What is your excuse? Yeah. So you're right. It was red flags that was telling you, don't do it. But we want to help others. Oh we, we know, we, we're not envious towards no one else. And we hope no one's envious towards us. But unfortunately, you know, that do be the case, though. But you genuinely, from a good heart, both of us, you was like, let me help this girl. And what happened? Yeah. Got so her hired. Got her hired. You promised her, like, oh, I could definitely get you hired. My job It's not a problem. Not only you got her hired, you told her we live on the same block. I know you don't have a car. She said, I'll ride. You told her, I'll ride you to work every day. You yeah. just got to be on time. I'm going to be picking you up at this time. You're only down the street from me, right? Oh, yeah. And once she got her foot inside at the job mm -hmm. where, I, where I used to work, oh, my goodness, she was moving <laughs> slow as a snail. Now, my <laughs> boss, the boss at that time was very unsatisfied and was telling me, look, uh, Linda, well, what, what's the deal with your friend? I mean, mm -hmm. she's, she's like not Like my dude, Chris. Every time she's screwing up, the boss coming to you. And you know, it was getting on your nerves, right? Yeah. You're like, yo, yo, why you keep coming to me? Well, I was getting frustrated because it's that she was making me look bad. There you go. Like I said, job reference. Think about it, folks. Think about it. But the job, but the boss was very understanding. He was pretty cool with me. He mm -hmm. said, okay, Linda, what do you want me to do? Because now we're in the Wait, wait, Didn't you tell me he said to you not what do you want him to do? At one point, he said to you how she was screwing up so bad. You told me that he said, Linda, what do you want to do? Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> it was a, a, a month that it was very um, slow. Like, so Linda, we're going to let you event. fire her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> See, that remind me of my dude that put me down at the first job as a reference. Mm -hmm. didn't, didn't ask me, didn't call me. I didn't spoke to him in months. Put me down. And when the guy said, Spence, we're going to put it in your court. You tell me what you want to do. I could put his application in the garbage just between you and me. Never hear nothing about this again. Or I could hire him. You tell me what you want to do. That's yes. exactly how it went down. Yes. And I never even bothered saying it to old boy. It just said, yo, man, don't take my kindness for weakness, man. Mm -hmm. And he, like I said, he was one of the few cats that I allow that. And I did say that to him, but he denied everything. Man, I did tell you, man. I did. I did. Yo, you sure, man? I thought I told you. But I thought I caught you, man. Okay, I'm sorry. Just but the thing is that I experienced something that is like, it's, it was very disgraceful for me because it's like, damn, I, I know I'm good at what I do. 
Mm -hmm. And if that represents you, represent me, and I, re you know, and mm -hmm. I represent you. That's the thing where it's like you making me look really bad. Look bad. <laughs> so I told my boss, I said, "Listen, it's on you. Just let her go. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna put but her." But tell me that wasn't frustrating every every time she's late. Because remember, a couple times you went to pick up, she wasn't ready. She started mm -hmm. making you late to work. Exactly. And it's like, damn. Then a couple times she said, "Linda, just go. I, I, I'll get a ride somehow." And then show up two hours late. And every and then when she's slow on the job, and then whatever, don't show up. And then show up the next day. Boss keep coming to you. Hey, Linda, what's going on here? What's going on? It's like, look, stop coming to me. Go to. But after that, that one, that incident, I said, no, I'm not. I'm not helping anyone. And you mm -hmm. got the good heart to do it, but it's just people make you look so bad. Yeah. And now imagine it's somebody else that really is a heart, got a good work See, ethic. Exactly. And they really want and need your help. But now you like, because of this last person, you go, nah, man, I, I ain't doing it. Nah. Mm -hmm. So, hey, instead of going on and on, I know a lot of y'all out there got them same stories. Because people are very, remember, we're envy. When someone aroused of your success, your potential, or your uh, possessions, they envious of you. You know, they, they don't never take in consideration. It took you a while to get to that status. They just looking at your status. I want what you got. I want what he got. Like they said, crabs in the brow. I want to be a real dad. I want your job. Yo, man, you gotta you can get my job, but it takes you a while to get to that status. You can't just come in day one. I want what he got. I want what she got. <laughs> <laughs> so I know a lot of y'all out there got these same stories, but it ain't that you're selfish, you're careful. You're more you're more smarter and more mature. I was gonna say more more careful. Put two words together. <laughs> You're more careful and more mature with your decisions that you make in life now because you like, look, if I'm going to allow somebody to put my name down as a reference, it's got to be somebody that I can count on. And because you're going, I'm going to be representing you as a reference. Therefore, while you're here, they're going to be looking at you as you a credit to the company slash to me or you're a discredit to me and the company. And it makes me look bad. And it makes me look even worse when I'm trying to use my, when you quit, or screw up, get fired, and now I try to recommend somebody else. Now they gonna question my authority with that, all because you screwed it up. Exactly. Hey, subscribe, share, like, and comment. Peace. <laughs>